<laughs> Barnable, he just said to the doctor, he'd wait. Remember what happened to me in the pond? And hand on side. Oh, oh crap, the Daleks are about to come. Shit. Oh, sorry, I'm just watching time the doctor. Time for part three of episode four of da um, Dr. Toy. I've got Dalek in my head now. Um, the time of the doctor set. This set's amazing. I got it today and I've had so much fun with it, so let's get into it. And I think I've fixed the focus, by the way. So, yeah, that's nice. So, hopefully I've fixed the focus. Although it doesn't seem to be doing much different. So, just like the War Doctor figure, the detail on this is absolutely... Oh, yeah, focus is better. Detail on this is absolutely amazing. It's the same face used for the Series 6 Doctors, and to be honest, I think it works better. Um, his face just looks more like him, more like Matt Smith. Oh, God, focus. Um, I think the features are better, and his fringe looks better. I'll just grab um, the Series 5 Matt Smith and compare the two. So, comparing the two face sculpts and the fringes mainly, you can see that the one on this one is more stronger. It's hard to talk about detail with figures though for me. So, um, there they are in all their glory. And you can hear Time of the Doctor still. Um,. I think the fringes look amazing on them, or at least this one. Um, and yeah, so going down to the coat, you can see that it's got, you can sort of see that it's got this tweed sort of pattern on it, and it goes around the coat and the arms, and then it's got the blue shirt with the bow tie, and it's even got the pattern of the bow tie on, just a few like uh, dots of white on it. But it looks good. And then with the waistcoat, you've got like the pendant and the chain, which is all gold, unlike the last um, doctor you got. Um, the waistcoat looks pretty cool, too, anyway. Um, the hands one's in an open palm mode, and one's in the sonic screwdriver holding mode. Um, and the legs um, are the same ones used on the Series 5 one, if I just show you another comparison. Although. The shoes are actually different colours. This one is like brown and grey, whilst these ones are just black. You can't see it very well on camera. Yeah, there they are. Uh, you can sort of see that. Not really, but whatever. So in terms of detail, this guy is really good. He is amazing. I think I sort of prefer him over the wall, to be honest. Right, now turn into detail. No, um, articulation. The head can do a full 360 degree turn. It helps because it, it the head's detachable and all that. Focus, god damn you. Focus. There we go. Uh, the arms come out to like 90 degrees and have a full 360 on the um, bicep, I think they call it. Um, there's a 90 degree bend on the elbow and a full 360 in the hands. He offers full 360 waist, although it's very stiff and I find it hard to do it. Uh, uh, I did it, sort of. Um, then the legs bend out to 90 degrees and they have full 360 on the tricep and a 90 degree bend on the knee. So overall for articulation it's fantastic. Turning to accessories, he comes with his trusty Sonic screwdriver which is a different design from uh, the Series 5 version. The claws are now sort of like sculpted together more um 
and it's a different green colour for the emitter, which works better. And the sections down here almost look like gold. If it will bloody focus. Yeah, you can sort of see that. And of course, it fits into the Doctor's hand pretty well. Um, it can't be posed whilst pointing it. But it can be posed whilst checking his readings. Uh, yep, they're good. And, yeah. So, that's a better Sonic than he's had before. Um, now we go on to... Actually, now nah, let's not do that one yet. Let's do his walking cane. So the cane's like got this bent handle thing. I hear that it was made from a crinoid, but I don't believe that. Um, there you go. It's, so, it's like warped and you can see that it's made of wood. And the bent handle works well so that the doctor just quickly take out the sonic screwdriver can hold it in that hand and just be like yeah I got a walking stick and that's awesome um yeah so that's cool Um, next accessory is the, quite frankly, one of Character Options' best head sculpts. Um, it's the aged 11th Doctor's head. Um, it's, so you can see it's got Amy Pond's reading glasses, which are quite good. And it's got like the William Hartnell sort of like flicked back hair with this slight weathering on it. It's white. I can see all the wrinkles and all that on his face. This is definitely why we need to see a return to the 5 inch figures. Uh, it just looks quite amazing. It to focus a bit more. He fell over, I don't care. Um, so, yeah, and to attach it, just take off the Matt Smith head and place the aged head in like that and it doesn't look too different on the body it doesn't look like too bad on the body but it works better with the impossible set 11th doctor which I don't actually have so you know you know I can't show you that on there but you know that's the aged 11th doctor's head oh, and that's it in a better focus Yeah, that's amazing. Just putting that's his head back on there. Now, um, let's show you handles because he's the best accessory in the whole thing. Handles. Five-inch side man head from the new series. Now you can see that he's got quite a lot of detail on him, like everything else in this set. All those dents and everything, and that brown wash on it. And all those wires out the bottom. And these wires, believe it or not, aren't actually like all the same or a few of them the same. I don't think any of them are the same, to be honest. Jeez. I don't think any of these wires. God damn it! As soon as I get a focus. I don't think any of these wires are actually the same. They're all like different and they're a very bendy like plastic. And they've got all the ridges on the side, man. You can see the damages in the mouth and the eyes. It all looks very fabulous. Very fabulous indeed. And the handles, yeah. That's why they call him it, obviously. He can fit into the 11th Doctor's right arm. And he dropped it. I find it better to hold it, like, from the back. Like this, because he looks better when holding it, and it's more secure. So, like that. Maybe this will make it focus back there more. 
no idea no but yeah it looks quite good when doing that and now the last two accessories the extra um chest plate piece and the peak body head let's look at the peak body head it looks pretty good the hair's still wrong but then again it was on the fire and um, we got rich version when they made that and you can see the wrinkles better on this one though and he's still got the raised eyebrow look the mr bean look i call it um and to be honest he should have had his atti attack eyebrows it would have been easier to sculpt them in five inch you know just saying character just saying now that we've got a pick poly head, like I said with the Dark Eyes Doctor, we may see a pick poly figure in the future, I hope. So to change the heads, um, you take the head off of this one, obviously. Then you put his arms back and pull his coat back. that pull that chest plate out and put the uh, bow tieless one um in uh, just like that it's very fiddly to do especially to try and get it all on camera oh there we go so now he has no bow tie and if you wanted to just like you could put Matt Smith's head back on there you could have the regenerating Matt Smith like that and then take that head off he's regenerated oh bloody hell in the Capaldi. Yes, the Scottish Doctor. I don't think I'm fine doing a very good impression of him, but I'm not that good at Scottish then again. If I'm doing a good impression, then please put down in the comments, because I'm not sure, like, if it's good. Um, so, there he is, the regenerated Peter Capaldi. And he looks pretty amazing. And you could probably customise this if you want to make, like, a uh, 5 inch pick poldy figure. Doing a quick size comparison, you can see that um, the Doctor, which is over there, is in scale with all the Daleks, like the Damaged Asylum Dalek, which is probably going to be the next one, either for that or my custom figures, the War Doctor, which I did last time, and Rusty, which I didn't do in the series, but you know. And I haven't actually sh compared Rusty to the Peter Capaldi yet, so you know, I'll do that maybe in a minute. And the Rusty looks awesome, so, you know. Overall, what do I think of the Matt Smith figure? There might be a bit of a glitch in the recording, by the way. Well, he's one of the best Matt Smith figures ever. I think the pricing for this set was a bit too high, but he's still a brilliant figure. The handles, accessory, and all the other accessories are awesome. The aged head is probably one of the best heads that they have ever done. And they didn't skimp out on this set. We finally get him in his new costume, and they don't disappoint. They just give everything well detailed. And since it's probably the last incarnation of this figure, then, you know, it's nice that they went out with a bang. Like, uh... That one is right now. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.